Welcome back to this first module, Introduction to Cloud Services. In this module, first we will see the importance of public cloud services. Then we will see how to get started with Azure Cloud and understand the cloud service models. Finally, we will see some of the cloud migration strategies that you could follow to migrate your workload from on-premise to the Azure Cloud. Without wasting time, let's deep dive. First, let's understand why adopting public cloud services is very important for any organizations. As you know, the world have to go through industrial transformations as part of the technology revolutions. All it started in 17th century where first industrial revolution took place. Subsequently, Industry 2.0, Industry 3.0 transformations happened in the following centuries. As of today, we are seeing fourth industrial revolutions and this revolution is something around digital. And this Industry 4.0, it is not only about modernizing technologies, but also this is called digital disruption or disruptive technologies. Because these changes on the technologies is going to impact everyone's lives. So it is very important for everyone to have an understanding of how to unlock the value from these disruptions. For example, rising automations may shake the labor market and we need to think how to upskill our employees to make them more productive. So every companies are in a process of modernizing their business and technologies in order to serve their customers even better. Now let's see why public cloud services are important in this transformation. Keep in mind that public cloud services are the bedrock for digital transformation because they provide various capabilities like artificial intelligence, blockchain, IoT, data warehouse solutions, serverless computing models, and many other similar services provided by the public cloud services. And if you try to develop such solutions into your on-premise model, and that's nearly impossible. And it is very easy to consume the public cloud services to modernize your IT. And this is why it's very important for companies to adopt public cloud solutions when it comes to modernizing their IT. As of today, most companies IT backed by data center unless your company born in the cloud. So if you are managing the data center, there are a lot of challenges associated with managing the data center. And it is time to think how to transform from those challenges and convert that as opportunities. So what are those challenges? Typically, you need to worry about hardware refresh cycle, data center contracts, capacity issues. And in order to address these challenges, you need a huge capital investment where you need to pay upfront cost. So you can easily transform these challenges into an opportunity if you decided to migrate your workload from on-premise to the public cloud services. You can easily set up the things no need to worry about the underlying infrastructure. You can easily migrate your workload and you are going to get an enhanced security and you will be paying for what you consume. And definitely you are building a solution for tomorrow. Let's see how Azure is going to help here. If you look at the Azure portfolio, Azure is really vast and it is offering several hundreds of services to its customers. And primarily, we can classify into four categories such as infrastructure, applications, data, and artificial intelligence. So building the cloud solutions, which means you will be using these services to build your cloud solutions. And we will be helping you how to build us solutions easily through this module. It is time to understand the different cloud service models. Let's take a breakdown of any application. For example, you have a line of business application which is running inside the operating system and your operating system is powered by hypervisor and your hypervisor is located into the physical server and the physical server is placed into the data center. 
So in the typical on-premise model, entire stack is managed by the end customer starting from the application until the data center. So in the cloud service model, there are three flavors such as infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, software as a service. In the infrastructure as a service model, data, application and your operating system which is fully managed by you. However, the down-level resources that are managed by the public cloud service provider. Azure Virtual Machine is a great example for the infrastructure as a service. In the platform as a service model, you will be just managing your applications and data. The underlying operating system and the down-level resources are completely managed by the public cloud service provider. Azure SQL, Azure Web App, those are the examples for the platform as a service model. In the software as a service model, all layers are managed by the cloud service provider. However, you do have some administration control within your tenant for your applications. Office 365 is the best example for the software as a service. That's all about the cloud service models and it is time to understand how do I prepare for the cloud migrations. It is a four step process, assess, plan, migrate and optimize. First, you need to understand what you have. That's the first step. Take an assessment of your IT. Then you need to plan what cloud service model you are going to take for your applications. For example, if you have a 100 server, it doesn't mean that you should migrate 100 server as is. In order to take a full advantages of the cloud service, you may use the mixed approach. And this is the great opportunity to modernize your applications. So you could take a mixed approach. Some servers can be go for the infrastructure as a service and some servers could have been offloaded by the platform as a service and some servers can be completely rebuilt using the cloud native frameworks. So you have several options in front of you. However, choosing the right strategy might require an expert advice. So we help our customers to do the cloud assessment and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Hope you have enjoyed this learning and see you on the next module, Get Started with Azure.